Apostolic Christian Assembly Perambur Ministries present Truth for Growth a daily devotional program God bless you as you prayfully listen to this brief biblical teaching for your spiritual growth Now Pastor Adam Samuel Ingerton will bring to you the infallible word of God Grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ What is your present circumstance? Are you troubled about something in your life? Are you facing hardships in life? Are you going through tough times in life? If you are a true child of God, nothing happens to you unless it is given from above. Bible says, not a single hair can fall down from your head without the Father's permission. Let me share with you this morning about glorifying Jesus Christ in all of our circumstances. Will you turn your Bibles this morning to Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 1? As a prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Apostle Paul writing this to the church at Ephesus. God, our Creator, has a noble purpose for each one of us. Nothing happens in our life by accident. Even sufferings are allowed by God to strengthen us and to make us grow in our spiritual life. This theme runs through the entire Bible. For example, let us take Apostle Paul. Once he was falsely accused of bringing the Greeks, I mean the Gentiles, into the Jewish synagogue and defiling the holy place. When the crowd heard this, there was a great uproar and Paul was taken into protective custody. We read about this in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 21. verses 27 to 40 subsequently he faced many many hardships and finally he was brought to rome to appear before caesar for trial there he was imprisoned and chained to the roman soldiers awaiting trial paul's circumstances were anything but joyful but under such circumstances he wrote the epistle to the philippians containing four beautiful brief chapters in which he mentioned the word joy 19 times in one way or other how was it possible the secret is he had a constant continual and unceasing fellowship with the lord jesus christ in this epistle he also described the kind of christian attitude we must have if we have to enjoy christ peace and joy in our lives even in the prison his concern was not for himself but for christ and the gospel he looked at the circumstances as something sent by god for the purpose of exalting christ in philippians chapter 1 verses 12 and 13 he says What has happened to me has really served for the furtherance of the gospel. As a result, it has become clear throughout the whole palace God and to everyone else that I am in chains for Christ. How amazing it is to read that Paul considered him not as a prisoner of Rome, but as a prisoner of Jesus Christ. We need to think what would have been our attitude in such a situation in our lives. He says in Ephesians 3.1, For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles. Even while in prison, he proclaimed the gospel to the prison guards and won some of them to Christ. He did not allow the circumstances to overcome him, but he turned those adverse circumstances into opportunities to magnify Christ and to win souls. Paul saw the hand of God in his hardships and suffering. He knew for sure that nothing has happened to him by accident but God had been working out his purposes in his life. I know this is a hard saying but this is the truth. Dear friends, we sometimes lament about some painful incidents that have happened in our past. Did you note that Paul did not mention in great detail about his painful experiences in the shipwrecks and chains in this episode? But he just said in five words in Philippians 1.12, what has happened to me? That's it. Why? Because he had the attitude that said, it makes no difference what happens to me just as long as Christ is glorified and the gospel is proclaimed. So let us not allow our hardships to break us, but let us use them to glorify Christ and to bring honor to his name. Let this be our prayer this morning. Will you please close your eyes right now and join me in this prayer? 
Heavenly Father, let us realize that when we take you with us in every circumstance, even during hardships, struggles and sufferings, we can remain joyful. Let us not lament over our problems, but talk about your goodness to others and glory for your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God's special grace be upon you and all your endeavors this day. God bless you. Amen.